This video shows you how to configure an adapter instance in a vCenter Operations Manager vApp installation. This video assumes that you've already downloaded and installed the adapter. An adapter instance defines the adapter type and includes information that the adapter needs to access its data source. You can create multiple instances of the same adapter without installing the adapter multiple times. For example, if you have more than one Hyperic system, you can create multiple adapter instances, each pointing to a different Hyperic system. To add an adapter instance, go to the vCenter Operations Manager Custom UI and select Environment and Configuration and Adapter Instances. Next, click the Add New Adapter Instance icon and select a collector. Most installations have only one collector. Next, select the adapter kind. I'm adding an instance for the Hyperic adapter. Each adapter instance must have a unique name. The name identifies the adapter instance in the user interface, so make sure it's descriptive. Next, provide configuration information for the adapter. The exact information depends on the kind of adapter you're configuring. For a Hyperic adapter instance, you must provide information about the Hyperic database, including the database type, host name or IP address, port number, and database name. If you enable auto discovery, the data collection process discovers new objects as Hyperic discovers them and creates resources for you in vCenter Operations Manager. If you disable auto discovery, you must use manual discovery to create resources. You typically enable auto discovery. Most adapter instances require a credential to connect to their data source. You can select an existing credential or add a new credential. To add a credential, click Add, select the adapter and credential kinds, and type a name for the credential instance. The name identifies the credential in the user interface, so make sure it's descriptive. A Hyperic adapter instance requires a username and password to connect to the Hyperic database. Click OK to save the new credential. Click Test to test your adapter instance configuration. After the test finishes, click OK to add the new adapter instance to vCenter Operations Manager. The new adapter instance appears in the Adapters list. You can see the status of an adapter instance on the Environment Overview page. Expand Collectors and select the collector for the adapter instance. The adapter instance appears in the right pane. The collection state shows whether the adapter instance is configured, started, and ready to collect data. For our instance, the state is collecting. The collection status shows whether the adapter instance is receiving data. For our instance, the status is data receiving, which means the instance is currently receiving data from Hyperic. Health shows the health score of the adapter instance. A health score of 100 is good. You can click the Show Detail icon to see metrics for the adapter instance. The metrics appear in the Metric Selector pane. Instance-generated metrics help you monitor the status of the adapter instance. You can watch values like collection time, the number of down resources, or the total number of metrics collected. To see the resources for which an adapter instance collects data, select Environment and Environment Overview, Expand Adapter Instances, select the Hyperic adapter kind, and then select the adapter instance itself. The number after the instance name shows the number of resources for which the instance is collecting data. The Hyperic adapter instance is collecting data for 66 resources. The resources for which the adapter is collecting data appear in the right pane. Here you can see an Active Directory service that is monitored by Hyperic and is brought into vCenter Operations Manager. The data receiving collection status shows that the instance is receiving data for the resource. This AIX instance is red and has a health of zero, because the adapter instance is configured to collect data for it, but the resource itself is down, and Hyperic is not currently collecting data for it. Here I'm using a dashboard called Hyperic Objects that I created previously to view metrics for Hyperic resources. I'm typing Oracle, because I want to look at any Oracle instances that the Hyperic adapter instance monitors. The metric selector changes to show the metrics that the adapter instance is collecting for Oracle instances monitored by Hyperic. When I select an Oracle metric, 
I can see the data that the adapter instance is collecting through Hyperic over time. For more information about configuring adapters, go to pubs.vmware.com.